Hey Scorpio, welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is going to be your general reading for the week of April 1st through the 7th. So let's just jump right in and see what messages we get for you. You know, I believe... I believe that tarot is one of the most mysterious things in the world. Well, I say that because when you see it, sometimes you're just like, how is that supposed to work, right? How does it make sense? Why does it shuffle like that? Why does it fall like that? Why does that card mean this and then the other one means that? It's like tarot is an example of one of the reasons why I believe that anything is possible right anything can make sense if you add meaning to it so even the most senseless things if one person decides that they're going to add their own special meaning flair to it it's gonna that's how it will exist i feel like right now this whole spread is throwing me on a very necessary tangent because some of you are not you're not going to expect what this first week of the month is going to bring you because it's not going to make sense just like the way the cards came out the fact that at first it it threw two cards and then it was like we need to keep going it's not going to make sense okay so with the temperance at the bottom of the deck scorpio follow me here something about your timeline is shifting okay something about the way that things are going this week it's going to have a dramatic change right there's something that you will not understand at first because you're not supposed to right it's kind of like divine intervention but on a more psychological front so we have the tower the queen of wands the world and the nine of cups some of you can already kind of pinpoint what this tower moment is about because there is something happening in your life right now scorpio that you can identify as this is different and this is changing and I know that it's changing, but what you don't see coming is the way that it is going to change and how fast it's going to change and how everything around you is going to be affected by the change. It's kind of like you're stepping into this new chapter of your life or this era that you're in and you're, you're kind of feeling really sure of yourself. You're very confident about what you see for yourself but it's kind of like the world is now catching up to what your vision is. It's catching up to what you believe is right for you. And then it's starting to make those accommodations. The universe is late to the party, Scorpio, but it's starting to realize it has to get some, some stuff in order. And the best way that I could explain it is that I feel like a lot of you could identify with the Queen of Wands, right? Maybe all of you in your own way, even if you, you know, are not a divine feminine. Uh, but it's kind of like she is in this position where she has patience, but she is also kind of very demanding. You know, she demands the very best treatment. She demands respect because she has given it to herself first, right? The Queen of Wands knows how to thrive. She knows how to be passionate, productive, responsible and also very caring she's got it all going on however she's patient because she's happy and content with herself but it's kind of like whoever is catering to the queen of wands is now starting to realize oh she's waiting for this to happen the universe is saying oh scorpio's waiting for this to turn around and to change and i'm late right the universe is delivering on something here and because it's finally delivering and you've been patiently waiting this whole time, something's going to shift. <laughs> this week, the universe catches up to your request, Scorpio. Something is shifting. And that is the best way that I could explain the energy. You know, from the beginning, I've been stumbling on my words because I don't know how to say it, right? But we have the temperance and then we have the lovers right behind it at the bottom of the deck. You could be connecting to a Sagittarius, maybe a Gemini. I see this as divine intervention i see this as you starting to realize wow things are actually changing the way that i have been expecting them to but it's happening 
quite fast. So let's go ahead and clarify the tower. All right, Scorpio, and this is what I'm talking about. Do you see that? That is the death card. That is you. Tarot, it makes sense, okay? It really does. Anything is possible. I feel like right now you are the tower moment, and it's because you are allowing this transformation to happen because you've set it into motion within yourself first. I feel like a lot of you for the last few months, maybe this is something that even started last year, you've been on a journey towards getting yourself in a place that not only do you feel comfortable in, that you're happy in, but a place where you can create and cultivate the kind of lifestyle that you really want. A lot of you have been going through kind of like this cycle where it's like you find the place that you think you're going to thrive in, that you think you're going to be comfortable in, time goes on and then you realize this is not for me. And so what happens is you end up now trying to figure out how do I get out of it? And then, of course, because life is complicated, all of these other factors are included. And so now we have to one by one start removing these blocks. Um, but I feel like with the Nine of Swords is you're tired of always being in these cycles where you think it's going to work and then it doesn't. And then you have to go back to square one. Scorpio, it feels like you're going into this new chapter without ever having to experience that again. It's kind of like... These are the end of those days where you're hoping for the best and then getting the worst. Now the universe is saying we're going to deliver what you've been asking for because you, you know what that is. You started it, right? Like you knowing yourself, you started helping the universe know what it needs to deliver to you. And I guess that's kind of one of the inner workings of manifestation, right? If we don't know what we're manifesting and we're just throwing anything out into the universe, the universe is going to throw anything back. But if we know what we want, if we know what we're manifesting and we start putting in the work within ourselves first, then the universe can really do its job. So we have the Queen of Swords, Four of Wands, Six of Wands. This is confirmation that you are on your way towards receiving exactly what you've been asking for. And it's coming through as a huge celebration and a huge milestone. I feel like with the Queen of Swords, this is you being direct. This is you being transparent and honest with yourself. And the universe is now rewarding you with exactly what it is that you want. It may have taken a really long time to know exactly what it is that you wanted because, you know, truth be told, been there, done that, right? Sometimes I have my moments where I'm like, I don't know what I want. Right? I don't know what's really going to make me happy on any given day, but the more I work towards figuring that out, the closer I get to my answer. And for you, Scorpio, this could be a very similar story where now you're really starting to feel like you know what you want. And now the universe is like, okay, I can do that. Right, You've made it clear so I can deliver and you're going to get there Right, and it's going to be a success. But that recognition started you it started with you you had to look yourself in the mirror and say what do you want and you answered yourself back and then you know lo and behold right the wor the world works in mysterious ways i mean like i said at the beginning tarot is an example of that like why does a deck of cards make sense it's what you give meaning to it and you're giving meaning to your life in a way scorpio that you haven't been able to before because now is when it really makes sense Whatever you've been trying to figure out, now it really makes sense. So I I have I have no I have no words to describe how satisfying this is. This message, honestly. All right, let's clarify the world. What what do you have looking forward to? Or let me just I'll we'll just stick with that. We'll pretend like that that phrase made sense. Five of Pentacles. I'm telling you, it's the end of the days where you are disappointed by what's coming next. Some of you right now could be going through the ending of this difficult cycle. You're still going through it, right? But the, the world is showing up to say that the new chapter is beginning, right? This first week of April could be the week where you really start to see these changes happen. 
Nine of Wands, Knight of Pentacles, Five of Swords. If anything, this is the universe's way of saying it's not going to be the easiest thing ever, but it is for darn sure going to be worth it, right? And the Nine of Wands is that energy of not giving up not finishing until it's done right until we get to this part right here and i feel like with the five of swords some of you you could still be skeptical about the whole thing right you're still you're still thinking well you know just just how true and how good could this really be right if something seems too good to be true how could it actually be so i feel like that's normal that's healthy skepticism, in my opinion, because Scorpios, we do have trust issues, right? We need to see something for an extended amount of time before we believe that it is legit. And for you, I feel like the universe is saying, I know that you're not going to believe me at first when I deliver this to you, but I'll wait. <laughs> the universe is waiting for you to accept the gift that you're about to receive. And with the Knight of Pentacles, give yourself time, right? Give yourself grace. Be patient with yourself as you start to understand what at first is not going to make sense but just know that this is the beginning of a lot of really great things happening in your life because you decided to figure it out for yourself first without anyone's opinion approval input you you've figured it out right you didn't ask anyone tell me what i need tell me what i want you decided you were going to do that because some people they ask they ask the world, they ask society, they ask other people, what makes you happy? Why does that make you happy? And it's not just from a curiosity standpoint. They're trying to see if it works for them. And I feel like for you, Scorpio, maybe you've tried that in the past where you try to use that curiosity and that desire to know people to see if what works for them worked for you. I feel like you did that for long enough to know that that's not the way to figure it out. You experienced things for yourself. And that's created this tower of experience where now it's crumbling because only the one real thing stands and you know what that is. You can identify with what you want in a way that is truly creating change. All right, Scorpio, if you like this reading and it made sense to you, then please give it a like, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.